Rare dinosaur fossils may be lost to science forever when they go uh, up on auction in November. Uh, these, the dueling dinosaurs, uh, some kind of tyrannosaurus, which may or may not arguably be the kind we know of. It is some kind of tyrannosaurus. Some kind of tyrannosaurus. But it's not a tyrannosaurus rex, maybe. It's fighting another dinosaur, a triceratops. It's a pretty famous picture. It will be going up for auction and is expected to yield $10 million. Now, if a private collector wins this auction, those bones will be lost to science forever. Now you may think, why, why do we care? It's not a T-Rex, possibly. It does not have the typical skull shape or arm length of what we have studied in Tyrannosaurus rexes. It's got a slimmer, lower profile skull, mm -hmm. and it's got longer arms. I mean, not long arms, but longer for well, a Tyrannosaurus rex. A hallmark of a T-Rex is that they have little baby short arms. And we've made fun of, well, not we, but we totally make fun Society of Society makes rex. fun of Tyrannosaurus rexes like this, but they have longer arms. Uh, it may actually be a nano Tyrannosaurus. They don't know yet. Some people are saying, oh, maybe it's a young T Rex. But some are saying, uh, we need to look at this further. Peer this, review. And we need more peer review. We need people to be able to look at this and be like, yes, I do think it's another species. And that will not be possible if it's in a private collection. This brings up older instances of, of fossils being auctioned off, such as the T-Rex that was sold to the Fields Museum in Chicago for $8 million uh, a while back. And now the commercial value of fossils seems to have been hyped. Let me just say that I love science mm -hmm. and the advancement of science. The only thing I love more than science is dinosaurs. So I'm all about this. Where are you going with this? Um, I'm conflicted because the study of this particular fossil could further dinosaur research. The problem is, is that the scientific community didn't find this fossil. Mm -hmm. A private fossil hunter found it. Mm -hmm. And he found it on private land. Yeah. So they own it and have every right to make money off of it. Yeah. But don't you think the research would also be very, very valuable? Yes, it would be very valuable, except not to that guy who could make $10 million off of it. Right. It would be valuable so to the world at large, but this guy is a fossil hunter. That's what he does. That's his job. He does it for money. So he kind of hit the jackpot, and the scientific community is like, you can't sell they're, that. They're totally allowed to be outraged. Yes, they are allowed to be outraged, <laughs> but he is under no obligation to say, all right, guys, you just take this one. So I will well, call it Well, it's not square. like there are a lot of complete T-Rex uh, or Tyrannosaurus skeletons around. This is the most complete, this is the most complete one, which Tyrannosaurus fossil that's ever been found. Only two T-Rex skeletons that are more than half complete uh, have ever been recovered. And those are 65% and 85%. Yeah. So nowhere even close to this 100% complete fossil. Yeah, we don't, we don't have all the pieces in one place, therefore it makes it harder to study. It really this does seem- This would be an excellent specimen to study. Like it's one of the most important fossils found in recent record. I wholeheartedly wish that this fossil could be studied at length so that we could know what's up with this particular dinosaur mm -hmm. and the one that it killed and killed it. Mm -hmm. They um, both had a bad day yeah, in the was, duel. Yeah, it was a pretty, pretty shitty day for pretty those dirty. two dinosaurs. Yeah. But it's okay because the rest of the dinosaurs didn't fare much well either. So we'll see. We'll see what happens to this fossil. Yeah, hopefully someone um, who lets science study it wins the auction of $10 million. It belongs in a museum! <laughs>